Hello traders, Ed Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this video. In today's video, we're going to be covering a great deal of information. I'll try to keep the session to about 35, 40 minutes if I can. But in today's session, we're going to really drill down on how to identify the highest probability trade. So I'm going to be discussing with you where we enter, where we place our stop loss, and of course, where we exit. Now, it doesn't matter which market you trade, whether it be futures, forex, or stocks, the exact same rules apply. Now, in today's session, we're also going to be looking at the Renko charts using Renko charts. In the next one, I'll use tick charts. But once again, the same or the exact same methodologies apply. As always, my videos are raw, real, and unedited. So if I uh, fluff up anything on the way through, make any mistakes, you're going to have to uh, forgive me. Now, I do need to uh, pull up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Don't trade with the rent money. Feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer in full. A very, very quick advertisement. If you haven't already, uh, go to my website or click on the link below to download my free training manual. And I also have a great ebook, uh, which I wrote about uh, six, seven, gee whiz, no, it's 10 years ago now, The Truth About Day Trading. So you can also download. And very, very quick, download that one, I should say, and very quick, I want to try to get through the advertisement very, very quickly. For $197, you receive all of my strategies. There are literally hundreds of handouts, over 200 hours of online video instruction. No, you don't have to watch all of it to master the setups. Once again, we focus on that one setup and we build from there. But I teach you over 15 of my world's best strategy. I've been doing this for 27 years, traders. Let me save you years of pain, heartbreak, uh, and a small fortune along the along the way. Now, this is a $10,000 program for only 90, well, sorry, 197. Let me, I'm giving it away for free now. Um, now also, uh, as a special, you can also attend my live coaching sessions. That is every uh, every month I run eight live two hour sessions. I have over uh, 20, sorry, yeah, 200 traders attend these sessions. I've been doing it uh, a long time. And in each session, just very, very quickly, in each session, let me go here. Uh, so I've been doing it, you can see how many months I've been running these coaching sessions for. There's uh, literally dozens of handouts, there's PowerPoints, there's book reviews, there's all sorts of things that we cover, cheat sheets, etc. in every session. Traders, there is nothing else like this globally. Uh, and traders will say to me, well, look, what's the ongoing cost? If you choose to continue to attend my sessions, uh, it's $97 a month. How can I keep the price so low? Well, I've got around 200, a tra uh, 200 traders attend these sessions uh, each week. So I can keep the price down. Traders, this is the uh, end of the advertisement. Let's get back to the PowerPoint. So 197 includes my complete program, the world's most, as my traders would describe it, as a gold mine and one month of trading. End of ad, let's now get into this. So in today's session, I'll teach you how I read the charts and pinpoint high probability entries. As I mentioned earlier, in this session, I'll refer to Renko charts. In our next session, tick charts. The exact same rules apply whether you're trading stocks, futures, or forex. Now, when it comes to trading, we've got trend following strategies, trend following, trend continuation, you've got breakout strategies, there's reversals and divergence, uh, reversals in the market, uh, trend reversal confirmation trades, range bound, there's a whole range of different setups that you can actually learn. In fact, let me see if I've got it here. When you become a member, uh, and we actually go through this in the live coaching sessions, as you can see here, there's a ton of different setups. Let me assure you, you don't have to learn all of these. In fact, you focus on only one or two trend following strategies to begin with, and we build from there. Once again, and unfortunately, so many traders have been sold the lie that oh, one setup, you'll learn it in a couple of days, away you go. Traders, 
this you've you've got to treat this as a 60 to 90 day internship you really have to uh, I get sick of the amount of traders that come in and want to pick it up overnight I think it's that easy remember we're trading against some of the world's best minds now fortunately for all of us <laughs> our trading is not rocket science but you've got to be willing to commit yourself to it you've got to become a student of the markets and here's another one of the um, uh, cheat sheets that we've got I call it the master traders checklist where we go through uh, a whole lot of with trend training or strategies and you can see there's a bunch of them change in trend then we've got a range of counter trend now one may even say well how come you have so many strategies well as you become an experienced trader you realize just like a tradesperson you need to have a different setup for different market conditions once again this is not rocket science and we start you off with one strategy and build from there but it's very very important that you have the right expectation from day one now in today's session we're going to be focusing on trend following strategies they're the easiest to learn and the most reliable in other words about 80 percent of the time a trend will continue rather than reverse now you will learn how to effectively identify a change in trend and the great news is once again it's not rocket science but it's very very important that you start off with trend trading now with the chart I'm going to be showing you this is also very important we're going to be looking at here a four point Renko on the micro NQ the same rules apply whether you're trading the big contract or the micros tick or whatever it really doesn't matter however what is important for this example is what I call our targets in each step so we're going to be wanting to go for a minimum of five to ten steps which you'll see what that is in a moment for as far as profitability goes now in the next one I'll actually use a in the next video I'll use a higher time frame but we'll just stick with the micro contract today because the great thing about the micro is if you're a new trader or if you've been a struggling trader you can start with well on the micros I know the brokers will say only six or seven hundred dollars however we've got to build into that the risk parameters that is we never ever risk any more than two percent so even though a broker may say to you uh, yes you can start day trading on only 25 percent of that uh, say four or five hundred dollars however where that blows you out of the water is the risk management rules so uh, in today's example I'm going to be assuming here that you've got $1,700 and we have a little miscellaneous margin as we'll, we'll see if I can have enough time to explain that but 1600 by 2% it means that your stop loss maximum size can be $32 okay so $32 as a maximum now if you start you know there's only one way to trade traders and that's the right way from day one now what this means to you is this if you start with $1,700 and you target only $50 a day that is you have two what we call two B setups a day your account you're now earning or have the potential of earning 10,000 a week within 30 weeks starting off with 1700 every time you earn another 1700 you start trading a second contract and so forth now before you get ahead of yourself and you say well look trading 100 micros down here um, traders no you wouldn't because as you increase the number of micros you're trading you'd eventually start trading the big contract so rather than trading 100 micros you would trade 10 standard lots now $50 a day what if we were to earn $75 a day well, what it shows me here within 19 weeks down here I have a potential of earning over $10,000 a week and my account is up to 60,000 and I'm never risking any more than 2% per trade and just one more here we've got it if you're earning $100 a day if you're treating this as safe as a full-time business you need four to be 
trades a day. Now, four two Bs on the uh, that's basically twenty eight dollars on the MQ. It works out to be twenty eight dollars. So you'd be grossing at least your commissions, but you're romping then in one hundred a day. Now this is net after losses. Now just really simplifying this for this example. And for those young guns in the room uh, that are watching this, if you continue to compound, that is every time you earn another 1700, you bought another contract, look at this down here. Yes, you would be on the micros, uh, on the main contracts, but never trading any more than 10, but your capital base in 50 weeks would be $1.7 million. Now, don't tell me it can't be done. Because it has been done. We go and look at many traders have, have had incredible returns. However, they're the min minority of traders because they don't have a plan. Now, jumping ahead again, let's look at this. Now, before we go to the charts, this is really important. As you're about to see, I use the, uh, the if I can say it's the metaphor or the story of a pilot, particularly flying at night, of night. That is, they rely on their instruments for landings and for flying, etc. We are exactly the same. As when we go to the charts in a moment, we start to look at some of my indicators. I'm reading the indicators, okay? And that's so important you start to learn how to read the indicators. The other important thing here is what I call rule number one is the power of focus. Focus on that one good trade at a time. I look at it um, as what I call the sniper mindset. If I can do it once, I can do it again and again and again. That's so important. Now, the other thing what I'm, I'm about to show you is that we have a couple of points of entry. That is, I can wait for three higher closes or three lower closes, which I like to do on the NQ, on oil, uh, on Forex, many other markets I'm not so worried about. It, but, but the NQ and the MNQ can be quite whippy at times. And so we call it the get ready, the get set, uh, the go. And I'll explain that when I get to the charts. Now, the next thing that uh, I really want to look at here is, uh, here's the little um, checklist that we're going to go through. Do I have a setup? Does it meet my trading rules? We want to know where's the entry? Where do I place my stop? Where do we exit? Now, where we exit can depend on a number of factors. For an example, are we buying or selling into a pivot, a swing high or a swing low, or major EMAs? Now, I use anchor charts. When you use an anchor chart, they behave and act exactly the same uh, as a major support resistance area or a pivot area. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm going to show you some examples as we go along. Now, one of the big questions also here is the, uh, the charts that we use and the number of charts. Now, traders, what we can see here is I've got three charts on display. The chart on the left here is what I call my entry chart. This is where I do all of my trading. This one here is called the anchor chart one and the anchor chart two. You know, if you're a brand new trader uh, and you find perhaps, and it can be a little daunting having three charts up, you can start off just by having your entry chart and your anchor chart one. And in time, you can introduce anchor chart two. Now the anchor chart two, as you gain experience, you'll discover just how important that can be for divergences, trend continuation, and many, many other setups. Okay, so let's start with this particular screenshot before we go to the, the live trades. This is some, This is from last Friday. I'm shooting this on Monday, which is Sunday evening USA time. So I'm um, recording this during the Globex hours. And when I um, took this quick screenshot, uh, we can see here that the data, uh, TradeStation doesn't have um, data replay, unlike say NinjaTrader 8. I think NinjaTrader 7 has data uh, screenplay as well. TradeStation doesn't have that. So I took a quick screenshot as I was setting this up. Now remember earlier, I spoke to you about steps. 
Now see each one of these here with the Renko, I call those steps. It makes it really easy, steps. And you have different steps on different time frames. Now remember earlier, I said we would be conservative with our entries on the NQ. So that is get ready, get set, go. We enter on the third candle. See this line here? You would not be entering until the next candle on the close or the open of the fourth. This is a very conservative approach that we use. But what is important is what we call the steps, the number of steps. So here we enter on the close of a third. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now seven steps there is worth and it exceeded that. Uh, very, very important. Anyone that's familiar with the difference between live trading and sim trading, you want to see price tick through your target to guarantee your fill. Okay, so seven steps is $28, okay, before your commission. And let's just be very conservative and take a couple of dollars off. So it's $26 net. Okay, and why is that important? It's important because of this reason. If you've got a target there of say 75 a day, you want to see three of those trades a day. Okay, you want to have a target. You show me a trader with a compelling future, with a grand set of goals, and one that's making the market, uh, they're becoming a student of their market, and they're really interested in the market. I'll show you a trader that's going to make it. Unfortunately, a lot of traders think they're committed to trading, but they're not. They're only interested in trading. There's a massive difference. Now, what I want to just once again, break this down. I want you to focus on what I call the 80% trades. The 80% trades are the best of the best, okay? And many of these, as you're about to see, will be 80, 90% winners, okay? Some of these are the two Bs, 34 Bs, just kick butt every day. Um, uh, so you're after three net trades a day. So let's now go to the charts and let's start from there. So this is the open and it's what we call the Globex open last Friday. That screenshot that I just um, showed you. And for the example here for now, I just want to leave up my two anchor charts. So this is Renko. Now, the little blue line here and the little white dots, uh, that's what I call the eight by eight strategy. It's a strategy that um, Jake Bernstein who has been in the business for over 50 odd years, written over 40 books. It's just another way of trailing the market. Okay, so you can use um, and, and going for larger targets. You can use the eight by eight. Uh, you can use, um, you might use an ATR. There's a lot of other strategies or, or methodologies that we can use to pick up larger targets. But let me just keep these three up and let me just explain what we're now looking for. Now, when the market reopens at, at uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, when the markets close each day, and for anyone new to futures, it's not the same, quite the same for uh, Forex. The market basically closes for one, for one hour a day, then it reopens. And so you go from trading the New York session into trading what we call the Asian session. It's also known as, I call it the X Open, which is the Globex Open. So you can trade these markets 23 hours a day. And also it can be a great time to cut your teeth as a new trader at these times, because the market's a lot slower. So when the market first opens, we usually have a delay of about five to 10 minutes before we start to get a setup. So number one, we wanna know traders when we, and let me just do this here and just pull this over. Uh, number one, what's the, trend bias. Remember, we want to be trading with the trend only for these examples. What's the trend bias? Look at your anchor charts. That's what we mainly use the anchor charts for the bias of a trend. What we can see here, we're in a definite uptrend. And this is where it can really take you getting your head around and developing the trust in your indicators and in the market of a trend will continue. So I've just marked up a couple here and um, from that screenshot earlier, and then we'll move on and I'll do some right hand screening. I'll tell you what I'm looking for, not knowing what exactly what's gonna happen next, but very, very quickly. 
this was Friday's action okay this is the time period um, when I was preparing this so that remember that first setup I had seven steps in that screenshot and then the second one I think I marked it up we're about here so seven steps works really well between five and seven that's on this particular time frame the market sort of breathes in and it breathes out so it breathes out breathes in breathes out breathes in and you'll get these moves all the time okay so 28 28 there are your three moves and you could have maximized that and I'll explain that in a moment where you could have got up to an excess of $40 on that move so there is your 75 to near a hundred dollars in the first hour or two of trading and this is just Friday this is a typical day now what are we looking for and how do I look for these trades okay now see these lines here this is called a pivot that's a midline pivot and these are pivots on different time frames when you start to go up to a pivot pivots are what we call a price magnet. okay so as you get to a pivot experienced traders this is where you could buy uh, and get in the door quick scalp as you buy into resistance okay that's what we call it there all right so um, very very reliable now uh, so why don't we start from here and I'll just tell you exactly what we're looking for we're looking for what we call a fanning of the EMAs now I'm using different moving averages here I might use some um, it's got a slight different formula on this chart compared to that one but they're very very similar and you know what whether you're using uh, a standard moving average and an EMA it doesn't matter a huge amount because in the end it's about discovering what's the trend direction so let's just go back to here for a moment and let's just talk about this okay so now we can see my 34s above the 89 okay see that there that's the starting of what we call a fanning of the EMAs okay my blue is the trigger line that's above but I got my 21 my 34 and 89 this is a start now remember earlier I said to you that um, with the NQ and the MMQ I want to have three higher closes see that white paint bar and by the way I've got the white paint bar for three or four different types of um, trading platforms all my indicators are included by the way so here that does not plot until I get basically three higher closes right and my entry rule is on the three now I can enter on the first one and in fact there's been a trade setup that's been around since the markets have been around it's called a slingshot it's where your long-term stochastic is overbought short term comes down and hooks up okay so you can actually get in earlier but let's use the very conservative approach of waiting for the three higher closes now I've now got the three higher closes I'm after my minimum of seven steps I'm now say filled on that I've got my seven one two three four five six seven it's gone past there very good now what am I doing now now I'm looking for a pullback in the market remember we're not going to trade divergence or anything else I just want to go through with you trend trading only now I'm waiting for a pullback back to my major EMAs usually back to my 34 to the 89 and then a trend continuation now see this one right here let me just check that this there okay so as a minimum I'm looking for a pullback okay to what we call a 2b two bounces that does not qualify so I need a deeper pullback okay so now I've got two bounces I've got a bounce here okay and I've got a bounce here so I've now got my 2b when you do your training you'll learn exactly in depth however once I've got three higher closes I've got a 2b here is my entry on the close of the third brick and I'm in now this would be it over here let me just uh, make sure we got the right one so right there and right there now what is absolutely essential traders you always know where your pivots are why because pivots are magnets and they will, will pull up as a magnet does price action and bang there we go so now I'm at 
a pivot okay so another uh, that would have been a nice trade so now what have I got here and you can see our price is hanging around the pivot now I don't have any entries I'm just looking here I don't have an entry now just there I do have for members that are watching this we have what we call right there a 2d now very quickly for non-members what's a 2d don't be put off by the terminology I use you pick that up in time and this is getting back to really learning how to trade you have what I call these aha moments aha that's what samurai means so a 2d is where you've got divergence on at least two charts here is my divergence and I've got a small a tiny bit and some more divergence here now when you've got divergence which divergence would you say is more powerful divergence on your lowest time frame or the higher time frames definitely on the higher time frames traders you've got a lot more power on these time frames now I'm going to ignore that for now but um, uh, but that's a setup you do want to learn now we come down just here and that there when you've got a divergence or what we call a double you've got to be very very careful of trades straight after a 2d we call them 2bds now what the hell is that two bounces now see here how I'm bouncing and I'm bouncing there's a 2b but it's after a divergence trade why is that the issue it's because many of these will come back and it's profit taking okay and so it's very easy to jump into a trade after major divergence okay now the second one is the one that I would take and enter now I already know I would have been stopped out on this one now I'm just going to be very honest with the trade setups I want to ignore this one the second one I would take I would take the second one and I have a losing trade now what's the bias of the trend still traders what's the bias I'm still have a long bias I've had a, some nice little winners forget the counter trends okay let's just focus on the with trend and I just had a loss now I call this a danger zone why do I have a fanning of my EMAs now what do I mean by that a fanning of the EMAs is where you see your moving averages fanning apart see that there here this is where they become um, uh, intertwined some call it railway tracks this is where it's very very easy to get chopped up now forget the ABC I don't want to talk about ABCs now we now come down here and I've now got to bounce off my 200 now this is quite a deep pullback now I'm not going to get into second entries and things like that because we can argue about those but let's just say plain vanilla entries that everyone would pick do I have an EMA bounce yes or for 200 I've even got a little bit of divergence now let me just pull this over and I want to show you this see how I'm bouncing on my middle time frame as well see that there I've now got a 2b now when we've got our entry or when we get a setup remember we're going to be conservative we could enter on the first candle let's wait for the third highest close right let's just be very conservative so our entries on the close of a third where do we place our stop our stop I really want to place one or two ticks below the low here my entries on the third my stops down below now what that works out to be by the way traders on this particular market if I entered a couple of ticks above a couple of ticks below that would mean I'd have a $25 stop in fact let me just um, show you this let's just go back to the um, members area for a moment and because whenever I get new members particularly watch these public videos and they come back to me so um, see here you've got their chart time frames on my Google Drive members any members that are watching this 
there is a suggested time frames and how I calculate the time frames and you've even got a video on how to do that because there is a formula that we use between the entry chart anchor chart one anchor chart two. it's not a random one but on the micros where are we here on the micros there is uh, where's the micro I mean you will find those um, uh, sheets there the cheat sheets here's the MES we're after the M and Q and here it is right here now what this is here see where I've got here if you're trading the four point each step is four dollars that's how much the steps are and your risk is twenty five dollars if you were to enter on the first candle not waiting for the three higher closes your risk would only be sixteen dollars fifty so we cover that extensively in training it's very look once you understand how the table works it's very very straightforward but that's important on your risk reward so if I'm entering just above that third candle got my stop down here I've got a $25 risk now let's talk targets where is a great target well number one where's my pivot I've got a floor pivot up right up here so there's my floor pivot now where's my previous swing high there it is there so I've got two main areas that I'd be targeting I enter there I've got my pivot and I've got this swing high I've got a couple of target areas now let's remember when we go up to a pivot you get a what we call a PB a pivot bounce all the time and that's where you want to make sure you really pull your stops up to either break even or you lock in part of your profit that's very important at this stage so let's just go up okay up but how many steps have I got one two three four five six seven thank you very much now you might uh, choose to get out of that because that's seven steps that's $28 at that stage remember here's another you've had a loss over here of 25 you just covered that there with this one okay what if we stayed with it okay all right we get a bit of a pivot bounce again now just there I don't have a deep enough pullback for another entry okay we now break this high now I'm voluntarily out of the market what am I now waiting for I'm now waiting for an, a new retracement a pullback okay now I identify those pullbacks where if I start to qualify there's really two things number one whenever I get the super scalper that white paint bar plots or I get my three higher closes so there I've got some um, little divergence trade just there by the way see that just a little bit uh, not going to be interested in divergence at this stage now we're coming back now look at this see how I'm coming back to the 89 so once again let me ask you what's the bias of the trend or the trend bias at this stage now I haven't been scrolling along on the higher time frames because I don't want to see what's ahead but we can see really blind Freddy can virtually see we're still in a nice solid uptrend at this stage are right, we coming back but I also know that time and time again you'll get a bounce off where you get a bounce off the 89 EMA so the order of it is the 34 89 and the 200 they are my three key support levels now I know we've got floor pivots and things like that but the main ones that I'm looking for for my EMA bounces now it's going to be the 89 or the 200 now see that white paint bar pretend you can't see that for a moment okay maybe it's hard for you to see anyway that would just show a green paint bar that's your get ready you get a second uh, um, long um, brick that's your get ready so get ready sorry get ready get set your third one and when that ticks up my white paint bar appears that's the go get ready get set go so I'm going to take and recommend we take a long here and I hadn't done any further than this this is uh, Friday so let's just see where this goes so let's talk targets now as a minimum I really want to be going for five to seven steps remember that is 20 to 28 dollars in fact if you were trading two contracts I'd recommend that you get your cash register in by taking one contract off at five steps 
Why? It's because it's a very, very high probability trade, extremely high probability. Okay, you get the cash register in. Your second contract, that's where you might go and start the trail. Now, I may as well quickly just, um, and we'll go another five minutes here, but some of the strategies we can use to trail are these, using the Jake Bernstein strategy. So see these white dots and the blue? So I want to stay in it until I get a little crossover on my anchor chart. You will pick up incredible runners with this. For an example, it's absolutely killed it on the Aussie dollar today um, by going for or using your anchor chart one for your, your runners with what I call the eight by eight or using my ATR indicator. All right, but let's enter this on the close of a third. Once again, we're entering our close of a third. We want to place our stop a couple of ticks below there. Now, here is the high of the Globex session. I want to do it. Now, I want to exceed that, right? But I want to get at least five to seven steps. So let's just start now. So one, two, three, four. That's a good still. I'm still not filled. Now I've got five to there. That's five steps. Six. Now here, We've only touched six steps. Now, let me explain something here, and this is one of the challenges we can have in going to break even too early. There you, you easily got out with five steps on, on your first, $20 per contract. Your risk was 25, okay? Now, when you go to break even too soon, when you get these reversals, and let's see, and as that one would have done, on your second contract, you've just been stopped out at break even. So you picked up your five steps on your first. Okay, now you've come down and it's come down below the third candle. So we can see here you would have been stopped on the second at break even. Now, what's my next move, traders? My next move is to look for another long trade. Now, I look down here, I'm coming down to the 89. I'll probably either get a bounce right there on the pivot and the 89 or come down to the 200 potentially. So let's just see what happens here. Bang. Now, I know you can see the white paint bar. At that stage, all you would see is one green candle or brick being Renko. That's your get ready. Second one, get set, go. Now, what am I after? I'm after a minimum of five for my first contract and seven for my second. So one, two, three, four, uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, or there, touch six, and let's just see what happens here. Okay, and you would have been stopped on the second. So you can see, and this is just a little example, five steps kicks butt big time, it really does. All right, let's do a, a little catch up here on what's happening on the anchor charts. And I'll, I'll sign off in a moment. We've been going 37 minutes. So uh, I just want to see, well, there's another potential setup. All right, now see just here, you'd, you'd be out of this taking what I call a haircut. One, two, that only went up uh, three or four steps. See how far we've been going sideways? Traders, we are momentum traders. When we start to go sideways like this, it's a sign that we want to cut our losses and get out. Something is not happening. We want momentum. I'm just going to see here. Okay, now look at this here. Now I'm starting to get a fanning of the EMAs in the opposite direction. And see this right here? This is what we call a 200 EMA overshoot. Do not be deceived by these, okay? In other words, when you get your overshoots, these are generally great trend continuation trades. Let's have a look at this here for a moment. Coming down, now, if you were looking at that normally, you'd say there's my get ready. Oops, then it went one more. Get ready again. Now here it is, get ready, get set. Now this is quite a deep pullback. Meaning, when we have a very deep pullback, we generally want to see some really good divergence to confirm the move. I want you to remember that. Deep pullbacks, I want to have divergence even back in the direction of the trend. Now, let's just wait because I don't have divergence there. 
now look at that there see that there now now I do have divergence now remember earlier I said we were going to focus on in this session trading with the trend only but remember we're trading a much lower time frame and this is something magical I want you to see here and let's just see how that or is that it right oh here it is just here now look at this see here how I've got divergence but what I want you to notice is what's happening on your anchor charts I've got a 200 EMA overshoot with divergence I've got an 89 bounce and I've got a 34 EMA bounce here what we've got here traded traders is what we call a loaded trade these are loaded trades now normally we look at this many traders look at that and say okay well what I've got is simply is a divergence trade yes on the lower time frame but on the higher time frames look at this now where's it go bang look at that there okay and you had another clean cut entry there and you had a 34b just there now let's just look at this pattern once again price pulls back and so this is they're very easy to identify and to learn note how price pulls back because I've got a 200 overshoot yes I could have entered just there and that's what we call a t12 or if you want to be very conservative and a new trader be conservative you want to have divergence and there it is right there okay and so I've got an 89b and a 34b that makes it a no-brainer and away we go from there okay now this one here why would have that been a no-brainer let me just show you this so we'll move these along in a moment see our price is rallying up now I've broken this level again see these black dots see what we call a t20 just a, a very simple identifying a possible change in trend there's a little rule that goes with it very easy to learn now look at this here notice how the 21's now flipped above the 34 see that there what I'm now looking for and look at the, look at the bias of the trend here traders the bias is still in an uptrend I'm looking for a retracement back to my moving averages and then a trend continuation trade remember we are trading in the direction of our higher time frames now I've got one green candle so what does that give me normally get ready two green candles get set but the third one was not a go see that so I'm waiting for another pullback again now here's a get ready again I know it's swipe but what you'd have there remember here I'd be waiting for three higher closes here I've got a white paint bar uh, on the, on this brick okay so that's my get ready get set now I've got a go what's happening here on the anchor charts at that stage this is what you would be looking at just there see that reversal candle now I'm starting to get a fanning of the EMAs again now traders remember earlier I brought up that little diagram of the pilots flying the plane they're sitting back they can't see above <laughs> as you can see with their cockpit you know they can see clouds that's a bit they're reading their instruments that's what we're doing here do I have a fanning of the EMAs this is traders the start of the fanning of the EMAs and away we go now once you start to get any more than three or four waves that's where we've got to start to really watch what's going on here on the charts again okay see that pull back there again now what does that mean on my anchor chart let's just see see this pullback here see that candle right there let me just confirm that with you there it is 
right there so see that candle right there that is right there I've got a bounce I've got a bounce I'm in and away I go so I enter on the close of a third tuck my stop in down below here uh, and my target is to take out this high but I am also thinking where's my next floor pivot where's the next pivot area okay why am I thinking that because we go up there and we get a, pi a pivot magnet kiss all the time now just um, before we do sign off remember earlier I mentioned we can use the 8 by 8 8 cross 8 strategy here which I train my members in it's just a very simple uh, reliable strategy that you can use on any um, uh, platform because the rules to set it up but they're just using standard indicators now here I back here you may remember I had a trade entry right there so I enter on that trade now by the time I get over here I look over here and see how the blue line is above my white dots okay so what that basically means is I stay until I get basically a pullback or a crossover or I get a lot of divergence so what that means is I could have easily stayed in from there right up to there now that's uh, probably about a $75 move on the micro contract now on the big contract the standard NQ that's a $750 move just there that's right $750 on a standard lot so uh, what I've done here is really given you a, a good rundown here on my entries we're looking for a fanning of the EMAs now what comes into the mix is this we know that around 80% of the time the trend will continue but we also need to learn when the trend may be coming to an end because you can make a lot of money uh, when you get those reversals but there are patterns that we're looking for and if we look at it this way traders that really patterns repeat every day history repeats every day and that's one of the huge advantages that we've got with these markets now if you're trading using time-based charts or tick keep using those uh, Renko are, are a beautiful combination for new traders uh, and experienced traders alike but I also use within that mix uh, tick charts so I have actually because I've got uh, multiple screens here uh, I've got up tick charts as well as Renko because one thing about Renko they're beautiful for smoothing out price action but you can also miss out on some additional action so in summary as we finish uh, for traders for $197 you can get over two, it's over 200 hours of me teaching this but most importantly now you can also attend my live coaching now if you can't attend the sessions because they're from 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that's New York time to 8 p.m. Uh, usually uh, two days a week eight sessions a month they are recorded so you're able to ask questions in those sessions we do psychology money management we'll usually analyze literally dozens of trades or potential trades every day it's about learning how to read from the right hand side of the chart now after your first month uh, uh, which is included in my complete program all the indicators and everything you can then continue for only $97 a month if you wish so I've got around 200 uh, traders in there and over 30 of those by the way we've got a lot of full-time professional traders and some have been with me for over three years uh, I am officially as they call me they call me coach my job is to really fine-tune their trading so traders I will finish up the next video I'm going to be talking about trading from the right hand side using tick charts because the with tick charts it can be complicated because you have larger candles etc so there are some other little tricks that you do need to learn when you're trading with tick so I will sign off trade it and for Forex traders don't forget we do a lot of work on Forex Forex is exactly the same I will sign off um, traders come and join me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel either thanks traders see you on the other side